And that's where NBC29's Matt Tallhelm picks up the story live tonight. Good evening, Matt. Yeah, good evening, Steve. The first neighborhood commuter net computer network is set to open up inside this West Main Street storefront in about two or three weeks. You'll literally be able to walk inside these doors, work one on one with volunteers to get the technology training that today's employers are looking for. This empty office space becomes a public computer lab. Ten stations that we've laid out in this space. The room next door transforms into a classroom for technology training. And we'll have another eight to ten computers that will be installed in the training center. A high speed DSL and a wireless throughout the center. Nelson County native Janet Ockert Harvey dreamed up the idea of the Waynesboro Area Learning Tree, or WALT, two years ago. She was working for a corporation near Philadelphia. Despite 11 years on the job and two degrees, Ockert Harvey was laid off. I thought, why not go home with my education and give back to my community? The nonprofit WALT will offer free computer training, online learning, and workforce development programs. Now, I can't say that WALT's going to bring them up to a level that they can take a, a job that's going to pay them a lot of money, but it will raise a skill set up and build the awareness of technologies. Volunteers like JMU student Candace Howell will evaluate each person's computer skills when they walk through Walt's doors. It's, you know, constantly changing and, you know, it's, it can get a little frustrating. And then teach them to reach their technology goals. Technology isn't going anywhere and, you know, everywhere uses it, whether it's computer programs or just learning how to type or anything like that. You're going to need that in your life if you want to get anywhere. Ockard Harvey's hoping this public computer center will be the first of many more to pop up across the valley. They can come onto the bus and they can do She's even planning down the road to outfit an RV and make Walt's computer lab mobile. But we want to stay ahead, so there's always a challenge. And Walt is looking for volunteers and donors. To learn more about how you can volunteer, there is an open house. It is this Thursday at 6.30 at the Waynesboro Residence Inn. That's the Marriott. There is also more information about volunteering and donating on our website. Click on the news link at NBC29.com. Matt Tallhelm live in Waynesboro tonight. Thanks, Matt.